What up, AD? Welcome to Hellman Grab Productions. My name is Lena Ways. I'm Ray Shirajani. And welcome to our offices. Right now we are in the waiting area. I've had to sit in a lot of waiting areas uh, coming up for generals and all that kind of jazz. So we kind of wanted to be a little smooth, a cool vibe. You can relax and just, you know, feel like you at home. And usually we have a loop of just really cool black cinema TV moments playing there with some scores. So you have a little ambiance while you're chilling. We have some posters from our projects. We obviously have a lot of work. This artist's name is Penda. And then one of our favorite artists, Adrian Muse, did a lot of uh, panel work on the walls. The queen mother, Miss Whitney Houston. I just really wanted to feel warm, you know, to feel warm, to feel cool, to feel modern, and to be colorful. We wanted to feel more like your cool aunt's living room than a waiting area. This is our reception area. It's uh, where our interns hang out. These are some cozy chairs. If you're gonna be here, like doing research all day, you wanna feel like you're at the crib, you wanna feel comfortable. And also too, I think the window kind of gives you some natural light. We really wanted the office to feel like home and not like an office. An office is a place you want to leave. And I think home is a place you can be creative, you can kick your feet up and you can vibe. <laughs> Welcome to the conference room where you spend a lot of time in here. It's the nervous center of the office. I mean, pretty much everyone comes into Hellman Graph for a meeting. We sit in these chairs. We talk about projects. We watch cuts up on this big TV screen up here. We want this room to feel bold and with this pattern on the wall, it feels very black, very strong. And this piece is by an amazing artist. His name is Julian. I was actually going to buy this for my house, but I felt like it, it made more sense to go hear the history of it and what it's saying about black people and the media and who we've had to be and who we're becoming. And these are just two amazing pieces by Malik Roberts. When you have art by black people on your walls, their art can inspire you. It can spark an idea. It can spark a sense of creativity. And it just changes the way you walk into the space. And there's always like, I think like a, a sense of excitement when people walk into our space. And that's really cool to see because Generally, when you walk in the Helmingrad offices, you're an artist that we want to work with. Mm -hmm. For us to, to be sort of the people that are you know, preaching this idea of protest art, that we're changing the system, that we're shifting things and breaking things, we want our office to reflect that. This is usually where my assistant would sit, because my office is right there. The offices of a production company can always be like a very hectic and busy place, and so we wanted like a, a tone that was a little bit more calming, and so we decided on the green. And this is more work by Adrian Muse. Beautiful paintings of our icons, our heroes. Adrian Muse happens to be a queer woman of color, or a queer black woman rather, to become an avid collector of her work. So it's only important that her work is on the walls of this office as well. This is our kitchen. I think a kitchen in any office is important because uh, people snack, man. You have to. I'm not getting paid for this, but this is my favorite. Also, I'm a fan of these guys and Doritos because it is what it is. And then I'm a person that's like a fan of juices and stuff. I know there's not enough water in here, but what are you gonna do? Our designer and me did a great job in terms of making sure that even as we presented creative ideas and things that we wanted, that there was an overall kind of, you know, one cohesive look. Welcome to the office. This is where all the magic happens, maybe. I'm a person that doesn't get a lot of the creative stuff done in the office. It's more business side of things. We're talking about deals. We're talking about the status of certain projects. But the creative, for me, I usually write at home. You know, I usually get that kind of stuff done at the crib. But I really like this space. I want to have plant life around, to have some natural light come in. It's just about remaining inspired. I love a, a good couch. A sectional is always good. It's hard to find a small one. You spend a lot of time on your butt talking and figuring shit out. So you should at least be comfortable and stylish at the same time. A lot of my art, you know, I've, I've started to collect and, you know, to me these images were just really powerful and just representative of, of really black youth and our future and what we need to pour into them and really what they pour into us. It's important to remember, you know, why I do it and what keeps me going.
These are people that lived life on their own terms and made the rules as they went along and didn't fit into a box. That to me is, is the greatest inspiration that I can have. And these are the people that look like me and some of them come from where I come from and do the thing that I do. Some of them are still here in body. Some of us are still with us in spirit, but it's a wall that I look at and just am reminded to, to do me and, and to, to do it unapologetically. This is my office. I spend a lot of time in here. You know, when the office is empty, it's kind of like my zone to, to just get work done, but it's also a, a place that I welcome artists into. And it's a combination of colors that I love, as well as some like really cool references for me in my life. I grew up watching a lot of Star Wars, James Bond, and old westerns. And so I like having that up there as a reminder of why I got into the film business. I think in our work here at Helmingrad, we reflect a lot of different kinds of people. I love this wallpaper. I don't think there's ever been an executive's office that I've been into with a bulk wallpaper as this. I thought it was really nice to have that, have a little bit of greenery up here to just kind of like ground me. I definitely do a lot of phone calls just laying on this couch. I have like feet propped up on this side. Lena will always come and hang on the couch to run through updates. Uh -huh. Thank y'all so much for taking a tour through our offices. We've really enjoyed having you. Please come back again anytime. You can drink our juice, you can get our Doritos, whatever you need. But until then, we got some stuff to get done. So uh, with that, we'd like to say, peace, peace. Thanks y'all, peace.